A mother of young children may find purpose in wiping runny noses and telling her kids about Jesus. An employee in an unsatisfying job might find his purpose in doing his work, constantly reminding or remembering it is the Lord he is serving. A woman who has lost her sight still finds purpose in praying for her children and grandchildren and influencing them to trust God. Psalms 131.39 says that, that before we were born, all the days ordained for us were written in his book. We are fearfully and wonderfully made to bring glory, glory to our Creator. Never forget you have purpose. Lord, it is Lord, it often seems that our lives swing from dreary to challenges we don't want. Today, help us to see you in the midst of whatever faces us. Show us a small glimpse of the purpose and meaning you bring to everything. Well... Now think about it. We have a purpose, and we must take that purpose and do what God told us to do with it. Well, there's a lot of people in this world that decide that their purpose is to basically not even speak the word of God if he told them to do it. And he's telling you every day what to do, but we don't want to listen because we're too scared. We got this fear that if we listen to God and we listen to him good and kind-heartedly, then, oh, no. Why is it that you feel you can't talk to God? Do you feel you can't talk to God because God is important to you or, or not important to you? Or do you feel you can't turn to God because He basically is going to chastise you for what you did? If you've done wrong, you should be in trouble with God. But I've got this feeling going on that when we do what God says for us to do, and we haven't even scratched the surface of what it means to do what God says. I've seen you people look me dead in the eyeball, some of you, not all of you, and basically make fun of things I say and do because I'm just a person trying to do what God said to do, and yet you make fun of me because I do this stuff. Well, that's a good reason to keep on going because it shows people where you are supposed to be in life and what you are supposed to do. Not to sit there and grumble 24-7 and say it's impossible to do anything. Because doesn't it say in the story that through God all is possible? Well then why is it we sit there and we say, uh, well, I can't say this or I can't do this. or You can and you must, but you don't want to because you're too scared that it'll cause you to have to get out of your comfort zone. And I know that's a hard thing to say. You know, you think, I don't know what I'm talking about because I've never been there before. Oh, yes, I have been there before. And it hurt my feelings to think that you people have basically let God go to the wayside. And you know God was there for you. God was there when you needed Him the most. And it hurt my feelings to think that you wanted to sit there and tell the world you didn't need God. You didn't need Jesus. Well, if you didn't need God and Jesus, then why even bring him up when you're talking about him? Why even say that he was wonderful, made wonderfully, and you went on about him, but yet you proved to us through all those conversations that you really didn't believe in him? Well, if you didn't believe in God, don't bring him up. A lot of people bring up God to get what they want done from another person. I'm not lying. I've seen it happen before. I've had people tell me God didn't want me doing certain things. I come to find out it wasn't God didn't want me to do them. It was that they didn't want me to do them and they were using and abusing God to get what they wanted out of me. And I won't stand for that. If you're going to do something like that, go on down the road. Leave me alone because I don't play like that. And I'll tell you, when people don't even understand why they're made, what why God made them, yeah, I can understand you may not always know why you were made and what you were made for. But once you find out the answer to that question, 
Go with it. Run with it. Be with it. Understand it. Don't sit there and say, well, I don't know why I was made and what I was made for, so I'm just not going to try to find that out. No. Try to find out through God and Jesus what He wanted you to do, what He expected you to do.